Hey everyone. I was listening to a podcast, just a little short snippet of the Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart one from a couple of years ago about why Kevin Hart likes to inspire people. And he was talking about the fact that his life wasn't that easy. His dad had a really, really hard time, uh, was jailed and all sorts of things. And he basically sort of talked about the fact that when you choose to live alive and vibrant and your best life, you've got plenty of energy and plenty of inspiration to go around. So he loves being an inspiration to people. And part of his thing was when you are filled with life and you realize this is the only life you're going to have, then you have enough to share. You're not going to run out if you have chosen to choose the best life you can choose if you choose how to spend your days if you choose how to spend your time with your children and your family and your loved ones if you choose your tribe and get filled up with those people around you then you're not going to run out it's not going to it's not going to be a problem making your tribe bigger being an inspiration being happy or peaceful or alive or inspirational whatever you at your best is why would you choose not to live your best life when you realize it's only a choice so uh, my little balance is going to be around living your best life so uh, I was also listening to a podcast with a uh, Robert Malone this morning and he was telling the whole story about the late 80s when he basically got PTSD from the shenanigans that were going on at the time and it was really interesting hearing his his uh, version of what happened at the time and how his employer sort of pretty much threw him under a bus and you can imagine like how many employers in the last two years have thrown people under the bus how many of our politicians have thrown us under the bus how many marriages have been thrown under the bus because of the traumas going on on the planet in this last two years it's just why we need to reach out and connect and remember that we are that community we are one we are you know we are in humanity as humans And it's fun to be a human and it's fun to connect in whatever capacity we're able to in this now moment. Not everyone has a full cup at the moment and they can only handle so much at a time. And that's okay. It's okay. See you, hon. So reach out. Reach out, reach out to someone you love. Reach out to someone that you can make. You never know how your smile is going to make someone stay. And once again, that's part of why I disagree with this when there's uh, no more risk than the common cold and flu. This drives me nuts. Children are losing their IQs. People aren't able to hear. The amount of uh, speech therapy in Australia has gone up 400% children are needing extra tuition because it doesn't help them learn not being able to see two-thirds of the face it's an interesting time moving forward we've got to look after each other we've got to look at what's working and what's not and make new decisions from here on out otherwise the damage is going to be huge so Do you want to be an inspiration to someone? Do you want to choose to live your best life? Do you want to release some of the old hurts that are holding you back? Let's see what happens. Come on over.